Let's go. Who on earth do you think you are to be writing this kind of stupid message? Because I'm on a WhatsApp group with you. This is your rented house in Banana Island to lie to people. Guys, this drama. Oh my god, I was just like. Wait, see Apple from a zero to hundred. Ryan Little. <laughs> Hey Bethas, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha. Yes, I'm back home. I'm excited. My dad is well. My dad is doing okay. Thank you guys so much. But this is not even about my dad, okay? This is about episode 7 of The Real Housewives of Lagos. And guys, the drama was a lot, okay? But you know what? I'm just going to rush through the other things that happened at the beginning of the show because the cocoa of this episode there yeah? now towards the end okay so all this beginning not really makes sense to me but yeah i'm just gonna narrate that to you guys for the benefit of those that haven't seen the episode now of course if you don't even know what i'm talking about but you're interested you want to know what we're talking about this is a recap of the real housewives of lagos episode 7 but as always i have the links to episode 1 up until episode 6 in my description box so do well to catch up on all of that so you can have an idea of all of the things that we'll be talking about today now for those of you who have seen it or those of you who are just here for episode seven let me just tell you you need to grab yourselves popcorn you know drinks water just grab whatever it is that you can grab sit down because it's about to be a ride okay now of course this episode started off with Iyabo's daughter you know at Tiana's empire you know she was getting styled by Tony Lawani herself of course we know Iyabo's daughter Priscilla yeah she was turning 21 and you know Tony Lawani happens to be her stylist Tony has been her stylist since she was 16 so it's been what five years since she's been styling Priscilla okay and of course Priscilla was there looking all dope looking all sweet and hot and of course Iyabo decided to put a call across to Tony just to know what was happening and you know just follow up on the whole event and of course she spoke to her daughter you know had some chit chat with her and all of that and also she had a conversation with Tony now Tony was like let's talk about Laura's fashion show what did you think about her collections for me I just felt like okay Tony wait till you want year wait till you want year go 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 for Auntie Yabo mouth like why Okay, but anyways, Tony was like, eh, what do you think about the fashion collection, blah, blah, blah. Yabo was like, oh, it was nice, you know, she had fun. And then almost immediately, Auntie Tony decided to just switch. Seeing that Yabo wasn't giving the type of answer that she wanted. And that's my opinion, though. That's how I perceived it. I just felt like she was looking for somebody to do her ball with. But since Yabo wasn't really buying into the whole thing, because Yabo was like, oh, it went well, I had fun, this one, this one. And Tony now said, oh, yes, 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 it was actually fun. You know, the highlight for me was, you know when you and priscilla walked the runway blah 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 in my mind i'm like that wasn't really what you wanted to talk about but okay anyway let's talk about uh, laura's pieces for the runway what did what did you think about the pieces I'm sure Laura, she really appreciates the fact uh, she was very happy. Okay, but I don't be a killjoy. joy. Let's just assume that that's exactly what she wanted to hear and exactly what she wanted to say. So, yeah, let's move away from that, okay? Now, the next thing was at Miriam's multi-millionaire mansion. Like, oh my god, Miriam's house is the bomb, okay? Like... I need to go there for vacation. Miriam, please, just in case you're listening to this or you're watching me, I, I need to come to your house for the weekend, okay? Anyways, Miriam was having a conversation with her sister, Lola, who happens to live in Dubai, but is currently in Lagos, you know, for holiday and all of that. And she was having this conversation with her sister, you know, they were talking about her own clothing line. So it's seeming like almost all of them have clothing lines, okay? You know, Miriam was talking to her sister, Lola, like, oh, my clothing line is ready, you know, this is ready, they sent me some, blah, 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 and then she brought out some my sister was like, oh, this is nice, this is nice. Normal sister-sister chat now. She shall collect one, say, okay, now this one she should go take, go back, you know? Now, while she was still having this chit-chat session with her sister, Miriam's husband then stepped out of the house. His name is John, and, you know, he came with drinks, you know? He saw that his wife was stressed. According to Miriam, a man that knows when his wife is stressed and does something about it is a real man, okay? So, yeah, he came with drinks, you know, with glass cups and everything. He served them, and after a while, they started talking about the whole 
dinner that she had invited the other ladies for and Miriam was like yeah you know they are all like women doing well for themselves and all of that and you know some of them are friends and all but I don't want them to sit on the spot so she decided that she was going to give them numbers to pick from such that for example when Caroline and Trauma walks in at the same time there's a chance that they might not sit together because when they pick numbers and their numbers say five and two it means that they will be sitting far away from one another you know so that was the idea and you know they talked about the games and all of that and you know Miriam's husband was like oh yeah it would be nice to have karaoke it would be nice to have some fun and it would be nice to actually bring a magician I'm like what do we need a magician for please like can you please explain that to me definitely bring the magician up here <laughs> did I put me hypnotize them or what absolutely you get them all pretending they're Pedaling a bicycle. <laughs> anyway, Shadi, the cocoa of the matter is that they had the conversation about the dinner and all. The husband then went back inside and Miriam continued to have a conversation with her sister. And that was it for that particular episode, okay? Now it was the D-Day. The dinner was finally here in the next episode. And we saw Iyabo drive over to Toyin's house, you know, because Toyin was supposed to ride with Iyabo to Miriam's place. Now, sitting in the car and driving over to Miriam's house. And the Toyin was like, oh, this had better be fun. You know, seeing that all of us are living our businesses, you know, we're doing all of this going to a house it had better be fun and yaba was like i'm sure it will be fun you know like yeah it will be fun next thing tony now said eh, anyway sha miram is a good host miram zina had better be fun because this one that we're we all leaving our businesses to go and like madam why are you trying to start off conversations that are somehow and this Miriam girl happens to be your friend, okay? Now, if there's anybody who would be saying, oh, I hope this will be fun or anything, it should not even be Tony. It should be maybe Caroline or Chioma. But surprisingly, it was Tony that was saying all these things. And for me, it was just like, Madam, what was this about? Anyways, as soon as they got into Miriam's house, you know, Yama was like, oh my God, this house is beautiful. And I totally agree with Yabo. You know, Miriam's house is beautiful beautiful you know they settled in and then the next person that came was laura you know laura came but she wasn't really feeling herself not like she was sick she stated that she wasn't sick but she just wasn't feeling herself you guys understand when you feel that way like something is bothering you and all of that you know so she came you know Miriam now came inside later because these three women just sat down and they were like where is the host now it was just the bartenders that were attending to them and all of that where is the host though and then finally auntie Miriam came out you know like i welcome to my house you know and all of that she tried to hug all of them but for her she felt like you know laura hugged her a certain way you know miriam is always looking for someone that is shaking her a certain way or hugging her a certain way or staring at her a certain way you know i mean <laughs> madam just hug or shake and just move along okay she was like uh -uh, laura what is it now it's too early for all of these ones and all of that but then laura was like oh that she's not feeling too well and all of that anyways miriam went ahead to give them their souvenirs you know she gifted them she said i want you to have a piece of my home with you then she handed them the paper like oh yeah pick a number because you're not going to be sitting with yourself today you know it almost seemed like she was trying to attack laura and toy because you guys know that laura and toy also are close and you know there's a chance that they'll start talking and chatting and all of that now coincidentally when they picked toy picked number one laura picked number two <laughs> And then Iyawa picked number three. It was just really funny. And, you know, so that meant that both of them were obviously going to sit maybe close to each other or, you know, directly opposite one another. And, guys, they waited for hours. Okay? Hmm. These ladies waited for five good hours, you know, just waiting for Chioma and Caroline. And I'm like, okay... I mean, if it was Laura that was hosting the event and these ladies are coming late, I would say, oh yeah, they are trying to pay her back for the eight hours that they waited, you know, fashion show, all of that, even though they did not wait eight hours. So, you know, Caroline did not come eight hours early. She came late, you know? But I would have said, oh, maybe she's trying to pay her back and all of that. But no, at this point, yeah, we actually need to award Choma the title of late comma. Like, she deserves it. And the girl said it to us, so she's like, I will accept it with my full chest and we need to even give her a sash to go along with it. I'm like, cuckoo kill me, this girl, Choma, cuckoo kill me. You know, she was like, oh yeah, she knows she's always late and all of that. But at this point, 
it is what it is okay i think i'm very well deserving of the late comma title i'm happy to take the crown and the sash to go with it it is what it is but at least the good thing was that choma called in i don't know if it was choma that called iabo or iabo called choma but there was a video call anyways and you know choma was like oh i'm sorry i'm running late you know i'll be there and all of that and when she came eventually she explained to us that you know she had had a crazy busy day you know she had to see about three clients she had to do this she had to do that and then caroline then had to come over much later to pick her up so it was almost as if the reason caroline was late was as a result of her waiting for Chioma. Now, within that period where they were waiting for Chioma and Caroline, of course, these other four ladies decided to have conversations. You know, they were just gisting to pass time. They were like, oh, let's just wait a bit. And now while they were waiting, they decided to talk. Now, in the process of talking here, yeah, they decided to discuss how people behave when they have money. You know, Yabo is like, oh, no, for her, she's been herself. You know, regardless of how much she has or, you know, what she had in the past, for her, she did not really change in terms of behavior and all of that yes she changed in terms of her looks and all but then they were just really talking generally about people who once they get money like this eh, attitude will change and get people ready like that so if you say once they see small money small 10k 10k we're not they even talk you know hundred thousand there are we they talk small 10k they're gonna booga ah, booga small 10k anyways they talked about that and then at some point they started talking about abuse in relationships you know marriages and all of that and oh my god tony lawani shared a lot and i really did not know that she went through all of that like she was constantly abused in her previous relationship you know the guy used to beat her and you know it was just really bad she even mentioned to us that there was one time she told the guy to buy her a car there was this pink car she referred to and then the guy was like eh buy it for you how if i buy it for you now you start talking anyhow you start doing this you start doing that that at the end of the day she ended up saving up her own money because of course she had her business empire and all of that so she saved up for it and bought the car now the guy still beat her on top say okay where you see money who gave you the money to buy this car you started sleeping with young young boys Abi. that's how you got the money he still beat her on top of her own money say where she used buy a car it beat her and you know she explained to us that all this while yeah miriam was with her you know miriam kept on you know trying to talk to her you know she was basically telling us how miriam has been with her through thick and thin you know really stuck with her and just advised her you know seen her in her lowest moments and all of that and that's why for me it was just like okay if you and this miriam have been through all of these things like what was the point of asking oh my God. you should know that the event will be fun or dry like we should actually be getting that information from you and not you raising it like anyways better leave it okay Dr drop it thanks guys truth of the matter is just hearing tony talk about her past experiences and all of that yeah it's just a lot you know dealing with abuse in any type of relationship be it marriage be it say boyfriend girlfriend that they be beat you anyhow or that they talk to you anyhow you know you don't have to be beaten for you to know that you haven't been abused there's emotional abuse okay they say things to you they belittle you all of these things you need to address them you need to address them so that when you finally settle in the marriage you're not now looking like someone who did not date or i beg abuse in any relationship is not accepted okay it is not accepted and if you're someone who is in an abusive relationship or marriage then you really need to do something about it so that you don't end up six feet deep okay now at this point yeah it was five hours complete that was when auntie choma and auntie caroline came in now at this point let me tell you the ladies had already moved to the dining but at that point yeah they hadn't gone deep into eating and all of that you know they were having these snacks you know that was prepared by the one and only soliat i think it's soliat like she's a very fun person i like to watch her cooking series on tv you know she was the one that cooked that night and you know mira made us understand that that lady herself was actually her first cousin you know so yeah it was really nice to see that part and like i said choma and caroline walked in and yes uh auntie yaba was not going to let it slide you know she was like we need to address it okay we need to address the matter okay choma well, she did not even start by calling Choma's name. She was like, ladies, we need to stop coming late for events. If we say 12, 12 is 12. You cannot keep people waiting. And then during the confession, I was, Choma was like, I know Yaba was talking to me, but she was just trying to be polite, you know, just generalizing it and all of that. But madam, as soon as Auntie Yaba finished talking, she was like, Choma, 
it's you go 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 i'm talking to okay we know that caroline doesn't really come late you know often but you go 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 now you be madam lateness and you need to do better and then Choma was like okay yeah i apologize now the entire time this whole conversation was going on laura dear laura was just there rolling her eyes behaving like this i'm like madam why the sudden drama like if there's a trauma they choke you for neck because i don't understand it was as soon as this lady stepped in that she started this whole unnecessary oh i'm tired oh is the champagne because she was not acting like someone that was tipsy at that point yeah trauma was sitting right beside her you know so this whole attitude was for trauma and you know during her confession she was like trauma actually thinks that i am intimidated by what she wears I am not. My mother, I'm like, no, ma. I feel like Choma said she actually thinks that I am intimidated by what she wears. Choma doesn't even think about you when she's dressing up. So can you stop? Can you just be yourself? We already know that Choma likes to play dress up, whether it's to go and have a bath or just to go and pick something. Like, she wants to look good at every single point in time. So what do you mean by, uh, Laura, stop it okay it's actually making you look very very somehow around trauma and it's really really irritating like you need to do better actually because trauma not even send you and you know while they were sitting there trauma didn't even look at her side it was hard i was just doing this doing was trying to you know calm her down and ask her oh are you okay are you tipsy are you all of that she was like mm, eh, eh. I saw her, she was like oh tony you are doing too much you need to stop and tony was like fuck you like me i'm even trying to look out for you and you're there doing nonsense like What's your problem? And guys, before I forget, yeah, Caroline actually turned out the sweetest apology ever. She was like, It was actually very rude of myself and Chioma to come late to your home. If it was a restaurant, there's no excuse, but it was very rude because you have a child, you have to close as a mother. I appreciate it. So it's very rude, so we're sorry about that. Thank you. For me, that was sweet, okay? Because you guys know that there's this pending beef between Caroline and Miriam. And I felt like it was really mature of Caroline to turn that such sweet apology and then Miriam was like oh no it's fine and all of that and then she handed them their own souvenirs as well now during Chama's confessional she was like first of all i think at this point laura is just seeking attention like what the hell she was acting like she was tipsy she was this she was that like madam what's going on why are you seeking attention like i know even they see you you know anyways they moved away from the dining area after dinner and then they went upstairs you know for their karaoke it was really fun like even me when they did there i had fun with them because they were just really singing and dancing you know caroline let loose she had so much fun the laura that was acting like someone that was drunk the initial time was there laughing singing you know she was just really having fun and well she mentioned at the table that oh she's bored and when she's bored you know she's just always like this blah 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 she she wants to go home uh, uh, she's not used to gathering with people like this she's not used to you know having friends <laughs> madam you knew they were coming okay so do not come here now and start telling me eh, you're not used to this you're not used to that madam rest and just have fun well i'm glad that she had fun during the karaoke i mean all the ladies had fun it was really really interesting okay now they moved away from that scene and they showed us choma's house i don't know if it was her house at this point but you know it had to do with her foundation good way foundation you know she was packing stuff for people she does this whole poverty alleviation empowerment you know healthcare it's just a whole bunch of things that she does for a particular community and that day was one of the days she had an outreach there so yes she was packing stuff with her staff and all of that and then at some point her friend joined in and they talked briefly about this whole laura's behavior and her friend was like see just leave her alone just be on your lane okay now before we knew it caroline came in you know they gave her her own t-shirt and you know she joined them you know they were ready to leave now as they left they got in the car next thing i'm just like okay can somebody please tell me what happened because i'm lost okay it was just bunch of insults and there are ah, what did they happen so apparently yeah they have a whatsapp group where all the housewives are you know a group whatsapp and laura decided for some reason that it was okay to go there and bash choma bash caroline and these two ladies were not having it okay trauma wasn't having it caroline was not having it at 
all you know they went all out yeah laura insulted choma insulted caroline caroline was like look at this rat oh, that she's talking this rat that you know she had an event you know she was eight hours late and all of that she's opening her mouth to talk you know event that we even went for what did she release you know rags now i'm going to take it back a bit in the last episode you know i had a conversation with someone in the comment section and he was like i don't know if it's a he now or a she but then this person you know this bethan was like um we need to wait to just see why caroline insulted laura's clothing line because i was like why was caroline pretending to like the clothing line you know want to buy it and then now she's having a conversation in the car with choma and she's calling the collection rags but then now i understand you know because the guy was like oh we need to wait for that episode and i totally agree with him guys it was crazy okay it was wild look at this rats no one can tell me that this girl doesn't have brain touch you know that right we're on our way and all of a sudden messages start rolling in in our whatsapp group what is the one that they're saying in real life i would have walked out who are you in real life will you be at the dinner table that will be on They were just blasting one another, but it was really hot between Caroline and Laura. Okay, Caroline was like, you, you that they pimped, you that they pimped for one governor one time like that. You think I don't know your gist, Abby? Blah, 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 blah. Like, they started really insulting themselves. And, you know, Laura, too, was giving them back to back, like, episodes. Oh, this lady was sending episodes to the group. And it's like, why are you even sending to the group? Like, what makes you think it's okay to send to the group? If you have anything to say to us, come with your full chest and say it to us. Not come into the group chat because you are expecting that the other ladies, like, you know, Tony or Yabo will support you. No, come at us directly. Let's give it to you, hot pot. Blah, 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 blah. Guys, it was a lot. And then when they even showed us a bit of what's going to happen in episode 8, you know, we saw where Laura was talking to her husband, trying to explain the event that, you know, Caroline was referring to, you know, where they said they pimped her, blah, 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 blah. And then Caroline's like, see, it's war between me and Laura. I'm going to give it to her as it is hot. I'm like, guys, it was so messy. It was really really messy like what just like that from to ah mad oh mad guys let me know what you think did you watch it let me know what you thought about the entire happenings in episode 7 now from what i've said as well let me know what your thoughts are i know i probably missed out some things if i did let me know in the comment section like i said before i have the links to all the other episodes in my description box so you might want to check that out okay um guys it was too much it was too much for me and i just really couldn't wait to share with you guys all right i'll be waiting in the comment section to hear from you guys let me know what your thoughts are and yes i'll see you guys on the next episode until then i love you guys so much all right bye